Hi, you're very welcome. You're here with Anne Walsh of the www.theexcelexpert.com and today we're going to look at how you can fix a row. Now, um, in the file here in front of me, and this file is available for download at the end of this post, um, there's kind of a typical scenario you have in many companies where you have a different daily exchange rate, say going across at the top here. Um, you have an opening balance, let's say, in your own native currency, but you need to be able to show the opening balance in this exchange rate here. Okay. Now, one of the ways you can kind of do that is, um, if possible, maybe just to actually fix the row going across. So all you have to do is enter it once and then copy it across. Okay. So I'm just going to show you here how you would do that. So click here and just go equals. Click on our opening balance. Multiplied by, let me just multiply it by. And then I click on this here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of toggle through my F4 options so that you can see what it looks like or what we need to do in Excel to actually fix a row. So I press F4 once and you'll see there the dollar sign appears in front of the D and in front of the 3. I press F4 again. Now, you see there the dollar sign is just in front of the 3. That means I've actually locked the formula onto this row 3. So all I have to do now when I press this is I click on it. And then all I have to do then is just copy it across. Now the beauty of doing this way as well is that if, for example, let's say I end up with another, let's say I have a closing balance down here. Okay, and I'm just going to put in some numbers here as well. Let's say this is going to be in our native currency. I'll just write that beside it so it's clear. my 10,000 here to keep it simple and just 12,000 here okay. so if then if I just enter the formula again so I can just go equals this one here multiplied by and if I just click again on this one here all I have to do then is just press F4 once twice until I get the dollar sign in front of the three press enter and then just again copy it across just make sure I grab this to copy it across. Right. Now, I hope you found this useful. And if you haven't downloaded already, maybe you can sign up for the 25 Excel shortcuts, um, which you should hopefully should find very useful in your use of Excel. Okay, take care. Grumma hagat